Midgar. After Meteor Fall, the once bustling metropolis was reduced to rubble. There have been attempts to rebuild, but deadly Mako radiation leaking from the damaged reactors still contaminates most of the area. Now it's just a home for vagrants, and the soldiers forgotten there after the calamity. Most of us turned our eyes away from the problem, but someday we'll be forced to face it. You've heard of the chocobo farm in the grasslands, haven't you? They've got the biggest stables around. I keep my new river chocobo there. He was born just a few weeks ago. I named him Boko. Boko, a noble name for a noble steed. I can't wait until this battle's over and I can go ride him off into the sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? I've been a crew member for almost three years now. You'd think after a few hundred flights, I get tired of the view. But you know, when I realize that this may be my last time up here, my last chance to take a glimpse of the land I call home, I just... I just wanted to get one last look. Deep ground soldiers, a ruthless band of killing machines determined to revive Omega and bring this world to her end. And at the top stand the Tsviets, a small group of elite warriors more powerful than the rest combined. Rosa the Crimson, Azul the Cerulean, Nero the Sable, and their mysterious and enigmatic leader, Vice the Immaculate. It is believed that confrontations with these four will be unavoidable. But their defeat is necessary for our mission's success. However, I'm not worried. I know that you and the others will not let us or the planet down. Mr. Valentine, it's me! Don't you remember? I was one of the Highwind crew. That bird was a beauty, but this ship's just as sweet. And you won't believe this, but she runs on some mysterious ancient power. But you don't have to worry. You'll be safe in my hands. Wait a minute. Where did this button come from? Oh no, you didn't hear anything. <clears throat> Approaching destination. Sir, I've been spending time analyzing the data retrieved from the files of former Weapons Development Administrator Scarlet. Deep ground. It used to be a medical facility for injured soldier troops. Military personnel would be sent there for care and rehabilitation. However, over time, it evolved into a laboratory for madmen content on ignoring all laws of man and nature. And supposedly, this evolution took place because of the existence of one rogue soldier. A man known only as G. However, that's all we were able to retrieve. I'd like to sit down and reminisce about old times. You'll have to take a rain check. Why don't you have a look around my bird until the meeting?
When I was still a kid, I wanted to be in Soldier. But those men and women in Deep Ground, they're nothing like the guys in the poster I had on my bedroom wall. But you know, I wonder if they wanted to be in Soldier, just like me. Hey, I'm not going soft or anything. I'm ready for action. And I know that there's somebody out there who needs me to fight for them and their freedoms. And that's why I don't mind taking second stage to the heroes of this story. Heroes like you. I'll do all that I can and I'll do my best, sir. It's not much longer until the Midgar Offensive begins. The last time I saw action was back during the liberation of Edge, where my entire squad was wiped out by that bloodthirsty crimson soldier. The only reason I survived was because I fled from the area when I saw my companions fall. But not this time. I finally realized that there are some things in this world that are worth dying for. Mr. Valentine, our troops are conducting their final preparations for the assault. I I've been ordered to not let anyone pass, sir! Our enemy, the Deep Ground Soldiers. They were all once just like us. They all had families, friends, even feelings. So, why did it ever have to come to this? What compelled Shinra to commit such hideous deeds? Now, these once normal people continue to kill because it is all they know. Are they solely to blame for their actions? No, I'm not condoning what they do. I will never forgive them for the terror they have instilled in the hearts of my brothers. They're our sworn enemy, and that will never, ever change. But I'm not fighting simply to end their lives. I'm doing it to end the chaos that they started. Sorry, Vince. I don't feel like talking much. 